Your first idea is not always your best. Sometimes it can be, on a rare occasion, but I would argue that the majority of the time it isn't. In this video I want to talk to you about iteration and why it's so important in the design process, and I'm going to demonstrate it through an example of a terrible first idea of my own. A while ago I made a video about designing a landing page in Sketch. And in that video, I was just walking through one page, basically showing the tools that I was using and kind of my workflow for laying out a page in Sketch. But I got so many questions on that video from people asking me why I bothered to design it and why I didn't just go straight into coding it. And the answer to that is iteration. In my experience, the first draft I do of a landing page is never the best version. There is always ways that I can improve it and to better solve the problem and get the message across. Understandably, I didn't show that in this video. I was just showing me laying out one page, so it's fair enough that people asked. But I wanted to make this video and show you an iteration process that I went through recently in designing a graphic to advertise some evergreen webinars that we're producing at ConvertKit. Are you ready for it? All right. This was my first idea. It's not bad. The background is the same that we have in our presentation template. So it's something that would then be familiar to them in the webinar. Um, this red with the pattern in the corner. But overall, all of these pieces just don't feel like they're unified. It all feels a bit bitsy. There's not enough negative space or contrast. And so for my next idea, I thought I'd try a light background because that would allow me to, you know, play with color a bit more where the red was a bit limiting. I tried it all centered, so it is looking more unified, but also there was just too much stuff and the logo had to go left aligned, which is kind of weird. For the next one, I tried it without the register now, which looked a lot cleaner, but I mean, that's the call to action and was kind of important, so I needed to include it. So going back to the one that had all the pieces in it, I realized that my main problem with this was that everything was kind of of too even weight in hierarchy. I needed to create some more contrast somehow. So I decided to do this by making a feature out of this lovely photo of Issa, my wonderful workmate, who is our webinar producer and she hosts these evergreen webinars. I chose to make her photo main image rather than the illustration or something more graphical because I know from past research that people connect really well with other people. It just puts a more personal touch to it. So this is getting better, but it still feels a bit disjointed having the hosted by Issa Adney on, on the side there away from everything else. So next I tried bringing that in and using this little hand drawn arrow element to link to it, which I thought was pretty cool. Then I tried it with the logo on top of the photo just to free up some space there by the text. I didn't like that, so I tried it back on the right hand side, but a lot smaller. This was getting close, but something was still feeling off to me and I wanted to like really push this graphic a little bit further. And I realized it was this straight edge on the photo that was bothering me. In the right hand corner, we've got this beautiful, like swoopy illustration. The hard edges of the photo weren't really filling in well with that. So the next thing I tried was masking it with a nice swoopy line to make those fit together better. I tried out a different illustration at the side, but things are just feeling too busy with this. I needed to try and simplify the graphic a bit. Took away the illustration and put the logo there instead. Didn't like that. Thought I'd have a long logo underneath instead, and that was better. But the thing wrong with this graphic was the center point, like the point where your eye goes. It felt a little bit off having the photo at the side and then also the text kind of at the side. Like almost if the graphic had weight, then it would be doing this. So I needed to make some more balance. I moved the photo over to the right hand side, and that meant that the text could align with the left hand side of the graphic much more balanced feeling. This hosted by was feeling a bit odd though. The arrangement here was just a bit weird. So I thought that for the sake of balance, I should drop the arrow and put the hosted by in line with the title. Then the last change I made was to revisit the shapes that I had around Issa's photo. I'd chosen those colors back when I had the illustration at the side. So now we were kind of missing our main brand color from this piece. Like that wasn't the, the main color that was standing out. So swapped around the colors a bit. And this is the final graphic. So we went from this to this, all through iteration. Now, like I said, that first graphic was not terrible. I don't think it was great, but it would have done the job. But going through this process of iteration, critiquing my own work, trying things out, I reached this point where we've got a graphic that I feel is much more beautiful, much more pleasing to the eye, and also much easier for someone to read. So I really want to encourage you to push yourself and move past your first idea. I hope this video showed you why iteration was so important and gave you some insights into the little things that I look out for and how I decide to iterate my work.
If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, then what I would like you to do, instead of giving it a thumbs up, although you can do that as well, but what I would really like is for you to share it with a friend. Share it with someone who you think would benefit from watching this. I would love to hear in the comments if your design process is something similar to this. Do you end up duplicating a lot of artboards like I do? Let me know down below in the comments. If you're new to my channel, then please hit subscribe. I make new videos about design every single week, and I'd love to have you back here for the next one. All right, hope you have a good day. Go do good work and I'll see you next time.